We will be reviewing a selection of papers from the East Landmark Papers and Trauma and Acute Care Surgery online resource. According to a 2017 analysis of the NIS database for all patients with acute cholecystitis, inpatient discharges have greatly increased. Despite the decrease in main length of stay over the same period, mean hospital charges increased by 195%. Dr. Ye and colleagues identified key risk factors for gangrenous cholecystitis that may assist in diagnosis, as ultrasound findings were absent or minimal in 50% of patients. GC patients were more likely to be older, of male sex, and diabetic. The GC patients were more likely to have had a delay in surgical consult, and the conversion to open rate and hospital length of stay were significantly increased in patients with GC. In a systematic review of diagnostic modalities in cholecystitis, cholecystography emerged as the most sensitive compared to ultrasound and MRI, with similar specificity among the modalities. In a prospective study, CT was more sensitive than ultrasound for diagnosis of acute cholecystitis and may be a useful adjunct in patients without a typical pr clinical presentation. Two validated scoring systems in wide application are the Tokyo Guidelines and the anatomically based AAST EGS system, with the latter outperforming the Tokyo Guidelines for key clinical outcomes, although prospective validation is needed. Generally, antimicrobial therapy should be administered before and at the time of surgery. Practices such as tissue or bioculture and routine post-op coverage are only supported by low quality of evidence. Early de-escalation and termination of therapy should be a priority. Cholecystectomy should be performed within 24 hours if possible. This is supported by a prospective multicenter RCT which showed less morbidity for patients in the early cholecystectomy group. In geriatric patients, early cholecystectomy is associated with shorter post-op stay and no increase in complications or conversion. Studies that support the primary laparoscopic approach to cholecystectomy date back two decades with an RCT in 1998 showing that open coli patients had a higher rate of complications, longer hospital stays, and longer sick leave from work. A more recent study assessing risk factors for surgical site infection after cholecystectomy identified open coli, whether planned or conversion, as an independent risk factor. According to Tokyo guidelines, several tenets of safe technique that are widely agreed upon include early operation, establishing the critical view of safety, dissection along the gallbladder surface, maintaining dissection ventral to the imaginary line between the base of segment 4 and Ruvier sulcus, and considering bailout procedures when the critical view cannot be established. In a systematic review and meta-analysis in 2015, subtotal cholecystectomy resulted in rates of bile duct injury similar to total coli. The lapped subtotal coli has generally better outcomes than the open approach, and in subgroup analysis there is no difference in outcomes for closure versus non-closure of the cystic duct or remnant.